Hi, I'm Kylie Hansen, an incoming freshman at MIT and who was accepted into Harvard, MIT, Stanford, and Caltech. And today's video is going to be about coding and how it changed my life. Let's get started. So my coding story begins around like freshman, sophomore year in high school. Basically, a lot of my friends at the coding and I they're all guys and so I was like what's the big deal with programming and coding and all this computer stuff and back then the like splurge for coding was just getting started and so um a lot of it was definitely the male side and a lot of it was like the geeks like the people who didn't really like fit in in high school so much like it sounds really bad, but like that's how it was back then. And so, um, how did I get into it? Well, I think it was freshman or sophomore, I can't, um, sophomore or junior, I can't remember which year, but one of those years I heard that one of the best teachers in my high school was going to leave, and his name was Mr. Torgensen, and Mr. Torgensen taught the computer classes. And so I was like, if he's so good, I want to take some classes. Um, from him before he leaves. So I took um, an HTML and CSS class from him. And he had this little textbook he taught off of, but aside from that, he would go over concepts in class and he would have projects and like fun things and he would like let us create our own websites and all those kinds of like creative um, different aspects of coding. And this introductory class really opened my mind to um, technology and the like back end side of it, like the coding and the um, development and all of this stuff that runs on behind all the technology we have. And so this introductory class opened my mind to that, and he really taught me to love this um, the side of it. And so um, he left after that semester. Like it, I caught him right as he was leaving. It was kind of kind of shitty for me, <laughs> kind of crappy. And so um, because of that. I decided that I wanted to take more um, classes in it, but like my school, like after he left, the, the teacher who came in wasn't very good. And um, I took some classes from her. Her name was Mrs. LaMarche. And um, even though she wasn't like good at teaching it, she was very open-minded as he was and let me do a lot of the things that I wanted to do uh, to pursue my newfound interest in this kind of thing. And so I took like, uh, I took, um, what did I take? Programming fundamentals class or something like that? I don't remember exactly what it was called, but it was something like that. It was an introductory class programming and it was in Python or something like that. And basically I taught myself Python in this class. Like, um, I think I had some Python experience before it um, because like after the HTML CSS class, I was absolutely enthralled with programming. And so my brother um, recommended Python. And so I started doing Python um, but this class helped me dive into it. I made some like um, very rudimentary translators. Like I took some words and I like put in what they meant in different languages and like you could type sentences that were very, very basic and have it print out um, translations of it for you. But aside from that, um, this class also allowed, gave me time to explore um, my programming interests. So that was very good. And after that, I started doing some research into like the scientific side of programming and I realized that a lot of scientists who do like data deal with data and like um, all that analysis side of things they use MATLAB and so um, I got into MATLAB after that so I started after my programming fundamentals class I took an IT help desk class with her and that was very good because basically it was just work on whatever project you want to as long as it like you know provides something for the class and so like I did some MATLAB work which was um which allowed me to use the software like MATLAB you had to buy so I bought like a student um a student version of it of the software it was like 50 bucks and it was it's probably been the most useful $50 I've ever spent in my entire life. So MATLAB, um, it has the simplicity of coding of Python with a basic um, user interface that you can like also do things with. So it doesn't get confusing at all. Like you can easily look up things on their um, website and they have a forum that people can answer questions if you want. But be between the pro programming aspect of it and the user interface of it is a very, very powerful tool. 
um, like the graphing and um, the plotting and the analysis that you can all use with MATLAB is very, very powerful. And um, I can see myself definitely using it a ton throughout college and hopefully my professional academic career. And so getting into MATLAB early opened my mind into dealing with math in science in a whole new way. So not only did it teach me um, how amazing programming is and how you can link programming with user interfaces, but it also taught me that um, it's very, very easy to get into that kind of thing, like to get into using math in science in a very like analytical way. So to expand on that, I used MATLAB to do some of the analysis for my scientific research, which led me into other things like science fairs and stuff and so um basically i used matlab to deal with all of my numbers and um i used matlab as a way to store my numbers as a way to plot them so that you can like visually see the meaning and the significance behind them and all of that just was very powerful and very eye-opening for me because that's the kind of stuff that they do nowadays like you don't release a bunch of numbers you release plots that show differences and that show like i don't know um significant like dips in numbers and all those kinds of things like um stocks aren't numbers they're like graphs that go like up and down like this and so um because of my experience with MATLAB and how it introduced me to this it not only like strengthened my desire to go into a STEM field but it also um gave me experience that I could put down on my college applications and my applications to summer programs and all those other like cool things that I got to experience in my high school career. So it was doubly useful in that way. Like not only did it open up my eyes and make me see the world a little bit differently, make me see my career options a little bit differently, make me have different skills that are more applicable and stuff, but it also was like, a, it was a, um, it was a, application builder it was um it helped me put down skills that are useful on my resume things like that so um that was the main though it's just like this the possibilities are endless and the benefits are endless so um that was kind of my my story behind it and like you know, I could go into like the bad things behind it, but um, ultimately, if you push through challenges, like learning learning a programming language is exactly like learning a different language. Like you need to practice, you need to push forward. You can't question things. You just need to like straight out memorize and learn and um, all that kind of thing. Things, but like the cool thing about programming languages is that you can always look up syntax and like how things are um, put and all those kinds of things like the order the um the way you should say things all that kind of thing while in like normal language learning you can't do that you have to think on the spot that kind of thing so programming learning a language is actually way easier than learning a real language if i have to say so myself so if you aren't in this industry like the programming coding all that kind of jazz you should get started like no matter what field you're planning to go into whether it be english geography science whatever it's useful um, because not only does it give you a different outlook on life, it gives you a skill that you can practically apply anywhere because, you know, the whole world run on the internet by now. Everybody has te technology. So if you have a little bit more knowledge of that, then it really helps you not only in like looking at things differently every day, but like possibly in the future when, um, technology becomes even deeper in our lives. So that's kind of, I guess, the whole story behind this. And um, I hope this inspired you to go chase it yourself. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Bye.